HVAC engineering is an amazing field with endless applications in all sorts of industries. If you want to know what HVAC engineering is and what HVAC engineers do on a daily basis, then you should watch this video. Hi, I'm Arman. I'm a professional HVAC engineer and I design HVAC systems on a daily basis. HVAC stands for Heating, Ventilation and Air Conditioning. And HVAC engineers are typically mechanical engineers who have expertise in designing HVAC systems. HVAC engineers design HVAC systems for three goals. The first one is acceptable indoor air quality. This means that the HVAC system needs to provide fresh air, maintain CO or CO2 level in an acceptable range, and also control contaminations such as dust or fumes at low levels. The second goal is to provide comfort for human or animals inside buildings. Comfort in building means that temperature, humidity, and a few other parameters related to the building's air are at acceptable range for humans or animals. The third goal is to provide acceptable environment for process operation. Acceptable process operation means that for areas that have a process equipment, such as a data center full of electronics, the HVAC system must maintain the air's temperature and humidity that is acceptable for that process. HVAC systems can be very simple such as a baseboard heater for an office. These simple systems can cost from $100 up to a few thousand dollars. But also, HVAC systems can be extremely complex such as a central plant for a data center or a university. These complex systems can cost from a million dollar up to a billion dollar. To design HVAC systems, HVAC engineers use three concepts, thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, and heat transfer. From thermodynamics, they mainly use psychrometric chart and refrigeration cycles. And from fluid mechanics, they mainly use Bernoulli equation, steady state flow analysis, and turbo machinery. From heat transfer, HVAC engineers use almost all the concepts that you see in heat transfer, conduction, convection, radiation, and mass transfer. HVAC engineers need to be familiar with these concepts, but they don't really need to do any hand calculation because almost all the calculations in HVAC system design are done by software. HVAC engineering is a very impactful field. About 50% of energy used in residential and commercial buildings is for HVAC system. So as you can imagine, designing an efficient HVAC system will help us to reduce our impact on global warming. An efficient HVAC system design will also help us to reduce our water consumption. On a normal day, an HVAC engineer engages in a few tasks. The first task is engineering analysis. This includes energy such as cooling and heating load calculation, air and hydronic distribution system design, and control system development. Next task is design document development. This includes 3D and 2D modeling of systems and also producing drawings for the system that the HVAC engineer designs. HVAC engineers also develop a specification for the system that they design. Why do they need a specification? Because drawings cannot contain all the information that the HVAC engineer wants the contractor of the project to know, so they develop a specification for that purpose. The third task is a very fun task and that is equipment selection. This task is like shopping but shopping as an HVAC engineer. This task involves using selection software or working directly with manufacturer to select the right equipment for the project. The last but not the least task is interaction with other teams or trades. This includes design coordination with other teams such as electrical engineers or structural engineers and it also includes working with project owners to identify their needs. And finally, this task includes site and project visits. HVAC engineers use so many tools and software to design HVAC systems on a daily basis. The first set of software they use is engineering analysis software. They use these tools for load calculation, dock system design, and piping system design. The second set of tools they use is engineering modeling and drawing development software. This includes building information modeling or BIM and 2D or 3D modeling software. And the last set of tools that HVC engineers use is selection software. This includes online equipment selection software, which are basically web-based software, or equipment selection software application, which are software or application that are installed on computers. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe. 
And if you have any questions, please post it in the comments and I'll make sure to check all the questions and answer them. And finally, if you want to know how you can become an HVAC engineer, please check out aeclearn.com with the link below this video.